hello everyone welcome back in the previous video we are installing the npm and now let's uh, start the next one so here we are following a blog where we want to now update our bootstrap.js file so now let's uh, copy this stuff from there and update the bootstrap.js so here let's go to our project and uh, let's close all of the file i want to show to you that where it's located resources js and there is a bootstrap.js so we need to just uh, fulfill these two steps so uh, save this one okay and now we need to build our assets so how we can compile our assets so npm run dev we are in the development that's why i'm running this npm run dev so if you are in the production you want to deploy your application so then you need to run npm run build it will build your file in the public directory and then you don't need to run this every time but we are in the development that's why we are doing this again okay so now our weed configuration is done and we need to add uh, these files path into the config.js right so let me open this config.js and here i don't need these resources right because i want to add my own one so here i'm going to oops i'm going to add my own one so first i'm going to paste this out like this and here now our these resources are located where so it's located in the resources so first i need to type here uh, resources resources okay then you need to type uh, not css now it's located in the assets okay and then you need to type uh, c uh, not css then you need to type auth let me show you let me move this uh, one because we don't need them anymore so let's click on this uh, um, uh, assets and there is a auth directory and this auth contain these style.css okay so here this one is auth contain the css and then this css contain the style uh, style dot css great we added this successfully okay so what's next so next we need to add the next uh, next file here so first uh, uh, let me go there so here i'm going to add this uh, uh, it's located in the vendor slash mdi so you can also view this like uh, let me go to the go to this project so this one is a vendor and there is a vendor directory which contain this mdi and this mdi contain this css and here you need to grab this material dot min dot css which is this file so basically i'm going to reference this file into this uh, config dot js so here let me uh, add this style at the last because uh, uh, our this uh, material dashboard file is adding first so here after this uh, css we need to add a vendor directory and then we need to look at this out so here i have added this vendor and then i type this uh, uh, mdi then css and then its file name so mdi css and file name so now it's correct right then i need to move back again let me uh, copy this out again and to paste this out so let's uh, remove this uh, file name because we are going to now add another file so uh, what is the file name so let's uh, view this here in the auth blade so this one is uh, located in the css not mdi and then vendor dot bundle dot base dot css so let's go back and here this would be a not to mdi this would be a css and in the css it's a vendor dot bundle dot css right so let me uh, copy this path and uh, let me go back here not this one so here it's located in the asset slash auth slash vendor slash css and like this so now this path is correct and uh, our third style would be this one style.css and yes this style.css we added this here so in this one right so now let me remove the space from there and uh, save this out and let's uh, go back to our web browser and here we are going to use this out so first uh, let me uh, add uh, the weed configuration here so now i'm going to uh, not going to remove this one i'm going to remove uh, this one and these styles right 
okay here i need to add the width configuration right uh, oops here you need to add the width plate directive so you can copy it uh, from here let me go there so you can copy it from there width and you can add them into the array at once or you can add this uh, without array so resources and uh, now you need to locate it properly so we are going to add this into the app dot yes uh, which file you want to add this so now it's going to locate this through this uh, resources js and then you need to specify your one file name so how it's uh, creating the file name right so you need to go here and uh, let me uh, copy this out so we need to i think it's uh, copying uh, it's uh, creating a file in the um, in the um, in the public folder like oh, it's creating choosing the first file name so in uh, when i implemented this into the webpack so basically it's getting the first file name but if you want to get uh, want to rename this with the custom one so you need to specify your custom one custom name but here this is not mentioned so how to do this in this one so let me check this out and i'm coming back okay guys now i got the solution so this solution is not properly documented on the vgs and if i go to this laravel.com uh, and uh, there is a vg section so you can check this out so there is a uh, laravel array so here you need to pass your inputs your style sheets which you want to compile and how you should uh, call these uh, styles we need to add them similar like you added two files you need to call two files you added five files you need to call the five files but i am the i am finding the solution that we will add the five files and call them only once but this uh, this solution is not exist in this read so this uh, option is exist in the webpack so you can check my webpack video where i completely explain that uh, how you can merge all the files and load into the one but we are doing this with the wheat so let's follow the wheat uh, wheat things okay so there is two ways to add your style sheets so first you can uh, if you have multiple files so you can add them at once or you can add them separately by uh, defining the another blade directive so let's uh, go back and here in the auth blade i am going to call this style.css and you need to reference the same path as you are doing this in the in this config file okay so now here let's uh, remove this resources slash js so let me remove this also array so here let me do this without this one so there is a wheat okay this one is a blade directive and here you need to pass your file name so i name this resources slash asset slash os slash style dot css so this is my style dot css file which is the file of my admin dashboard okay so now i'm going to save this on if i go here and save this uh, my uh, browser will be automatically refreshed and yes it's refreshed okay let's take eye on this our css is going to work wait for a moment okay so it's uh, loading our web page and now it's going to view the dashboard okay 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 so now dashboard is visible so it's mean that our styling is working so if you want to confirm that our styling is working or not so you can uh, press here view page source and then let's click on your file name which we added right now style.css so you can click on this specific file and go to this file and open this into the new tab if it's open so it's mean that this file is a uh, file path is correct otherwise it's wrong and yes this type in the new tab so it's mean that this path is correct right so it's going to load all the css uh, files here so i'm going to not going to wait to, for this to load this out i'm going to complete this other one so now if i want to add this second one like uh, i want to add these uh, this uh, min.css uh, 
so i need i can add this blade directive here like this uh, weight and then here i'm mentioning this path like this and i can add this for all of the ones but there is one shorter way so you can add this into the array form so let's remove this so uh, weight tag and here just to add an array array symbol so let's remove this out and here after this end of this one okay so after this uh, css i want to add the uh, you can add this before because it's uh, mentioned in the theme before right so here i have added this path and then i'm going to add one more path which one i'm going to mention this out right so remember we need to add the vendor folder because in we copied only css and js file and yes we added these uh, three ones right so now let's uh, save this one and uh, here we mentioned this uh, asset slash css but this one is containing the vendor so we need to copy this vendor directory so let's go here and this one contain the vendor directory i'm copying this out and let's go to the project and this one so here let's paste this out and uh, if you want to confirm this so you can you can go to your this one is open the style.css and uh, you can uh, view it here that it's working or not so it's uh, uh, working right so i'm not going to do anything more here i'm going to add now javascript file so how you can add the javascript file so it's similar like you are adding the css so you can add the javascript files like this so you need to add them into the script tag by mentioning their reference path so i'm not going to do this in the video because this video is little bit going bigger and i will cover this in the next video so i will meet you in the next one bye bye